Hey everyone, this is Kyle once again, and we'll go back to another view, and this time, now, on to part three of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, also what's called Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Um, are the R-rated and unrated, the R-rated and unrated versions. Um... Uh, this this time it was released and um, released up in January of 1990, 1990, four years after after Part Two. This and uh, this uh, stars Kate Hodge, um, Ken Foray, Viggo Mortensen, and Viggo Mortensen, William Butler. Um, and this is directed by Jeff Burr, which I know he he directed. Uh, a few uh, I directed, I directed a few of the sequels to the Puppet Master films. He directed, he directed a couple. He directed a couple of the Puppet Master sequels, and I also remember he directed uh, Pumpkinhead too. So he directed. He directed. So he directed a few. Uh, he directed the sequel. So he directed the sequel to Pumpkinhead, and they directed a couple of the sequels. A couple. A couple of sequ. A uh, couple of pup. Uh, directed a couple of a couple of the Puppet Master sequels. So he also directed this film. Uh, I thought it was I like this movie just a little bit like a little bit less than because this is I I love the first two the first the first two films I do but this one I just like it just like a, like it's a little bit a little bit more or less because um because um. The film, the film begin. The film opens up. The film opens up with um. With Leatherface, he like kill like uh, he like he killed uh, this one one of those women. He killed, he killed like this woman, and then he cuts it cuts off her face and put and puts it on, but and puts it on on his on his own. And then there's a woman there, and there was a girl. A girl watching from from outside the window as he's doing it. It's supposed to be like, supposedly the sister of this of this of this girl, who's who's watching, and then it and then cuts on and it cuts on later on, um, cuts on later on to uh, Kate Hodge and William Butler. They're driving. They're dr they're, dr they're 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 driving driving through Texas and supposedly it's supposed to be, um. I was uh, they're, they're, like they're driving and they're supposed to, like driving to get to Calif they're driving to California I think I think I think that's where they I think that's where they're going but um, as they're driving they hit no 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 it was before it was nighttime they they, they uh, come across some some people in contamination suits there they like they found dead body they like, they found some dead bodies in this in this in this hole um, then then it cuts early in the morning and they hit an armadillo. And she tries to heal it, but she but she couldn't. So William Butler does, and so they get to the gas station. Last chance gas station it was called. Um, get get this get this uh this the gas station owner named Alfredo. Who you know who's like a. I was like he's like when um, he's like he's like he's like all crazy you know in, in the head you know just by looking at him just by looking at him. Even though I look at him, I can tell he's already crazy. Um, and then Viggo Morris and then Viggo Morris and he comes in, you know, another hitch a hitchhiker. Viggo Viggo Morris has Tex. You know, tries to tell him, you know, uh, ask they're like asking him for directions, you know, where where how, where to get where to get to, you know. Um, they like they like like as um, Kate Hodges, she's in the back goes to the bathroom. The this the gas station Alfredo, he's like a Peeping Tom, you know, looks through a hole in the wall of the, the bathroom, and then Diggle Morris saying, "What are you doing?" You know, he he he, he you sick, you sick mother, you know, and then it's like, "Why are you?" He's like, he's like he's getting all crazy. Like, yeah, this is my place, and I do whatever I want in my place. You know, he gets a shotgun, and tells Tex, Tex is like, try, tells him to to get out because he got like, he got a gun. Um, and then like they like, like, like he see like supposedly like he he shot him, but they but he didn't. Horse. Um, they cuts away like the night time where then the truck leaves the gas station and it goes after them. Um, it hits it hits their car. You know they get 
they get uh, they get they get they make them make them get a flat tire so they're supposed to change it. And then let Leatherface walking on foot. See now he has like a a leg brace, not with a leg brace, you know, a squeaky leg brace. They hear something. They attack, they attack, they attack him. He attacks him, and then but to do those cuts the car up and it takes like the, the, the takes away like the roof of the trunk, you know. And then he and, they, and then you have Ken Foray, who is a who is a survivor a survivor li a survival list. Name his name anyway, his character's name is Benny. He's like he said he's been going up in those mountains for every single weekend, you know. You know, doing like you know, what what survival survivals would do, you know, like some it was like some kind of a camp I think he was in, I don't know. But um they believe they they're both the the Kate Hodges, uh they see they see like tech stand in the middle of the road, but then they both but they both crash their cars. Um so Ken Foray comes to see if anyone's hurt. Um William Butler is telling them like, tell is telling them like, we're we're being hunted, you know, and tells them there was a guy, like, there's a guy with a chainsaw after them. And tells them to look at their cars like, it's an awful big saw, you know. Um. So he he goes go tries to go back up to his jeep and then. Um, as the the, the two the two the two guys that they they kind of like dove up because he gave them like painkillers, you know, to make him a little bit sleepy. So as Ken Foray, he goes like goes up back up to the road. He sees their flares and another another one of the family members, this uh, named Tinker. He has a he has he has, he has a hook. He has, his right hand he has a he has a hook for a hand. You know, it's like he looks like he had a little mishap. You know, an accident. I already know that. Um, yeah, he offered he offered to ask him to you get to give him a ride, but then he but he's busy as he gets in he sees a chainsaw in the in the back of his truck, so he knows so he knows that they were right and he tells him he has to get something he's he was going he's gonna get his his rifle from, from the wreckage. As he's trying as he's trying to load uh, some bullets into the clip, uh the guy Tinker, he starts his car off, starts starts driving towards him, saying push comes to shove. He gets out of the way, he dodges going down the hill, and Leatherface, Leatherface, he shows up, gets into a small brawl. That um, then the, the the girl, the girl um, from from the start of the film who was watching, tells her, "Hey, over here, you know, just as distraction, you know, so for him to get away." Um, she loses it. She loses him and tells Kim Foray that she's like like been wandering out here for like a week, for like a week, you know. Um, He's like, he's like, wait, what the hell are you still doing out here, you know? Um, has a little, has a little, has a little chat, and, um, gives, he gives her, gives, gives, uh, gives him the cigarette lighter. Then, but then she gets caught, and then he, she is killed by Leatherface. Um, the William Buller and Kate Hodge, they're walking, his foot gets caught in a bear trap as Leatherface is approaching. You see, like, left, like Leatherface sort of come, is like, it's gonna cut him with a chance of but it cuts, but it cuts away, and you don't see him get killed, because well, later on, he, when the dragon's by, he's still alive. Um, she goes, she goes to the court of the house, you know, of course, um, finds a little girl playing with dolls or with like skeletal skeletons, you know. Um, of course, she gets, she gets caught, she gets tied up. Um. Or the other, the other, the mother, mother, the mother, you know, who has a talk, who has a talk through this uh, voice speaker on her throat. Or is it, uh, they have like there's there's grand there's grandpa who is who is now dead, who's now dead. They still they still feed him blood with a spoonful of blood every time. You know, thinking he's still alive. Um, they the uh, uh, Viggo Mortensen and. Uh, and the other guy, Tinker, they 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 drag William Butler's body and hang him hang him upside down, you know, as they they were going they were going to skin him. But the girl the little girl wants to pull the string that 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 swings the sledgehammer to hit hits and kills uh, William Butler in the head. Um, Le 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 Leatherface, um, he gets um like this is where he, the, the Tinker is supposed to like he made he modified this chainsaw for him. <laughs> it's like he well literally you get a present you don't deserve because he he failed to to kill to Ken Frey so like like t takes his like his his um 
his uh, his music his music player throws it in the stove, but he make but he makes him reach in reach in and grab it with his hand instead of his claw his 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 metal hands, you know, like ah, you know. Then and Ken and Ken Frey is wandering through the woods. He 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 knows there's a trip wire and he's spring he springs it. It was like a a a a wind a wind a, a spiky wind stake and you know, all that swings around and catches someone like that. See, he, he springs a trap, and then also, um, later at night, Alfredo, the crazy gas station tenant, is walking around, throw, throwing dismembered body parts into, what's it called, a bog, you know, a bog, it was like a, a small, a swamp pond, you know, he's throwing, he's, th he's th throwing body parts in there, and Kim Frey is like, holds hold my gunpoint, he's like, He's like, what? What is wrong? He's like, what is wrong with the people? And he's like, he tells him, he tells him to fuck you, Mister. And then he just hits him, knocks him out into the water. They think he he drowned. One down, he says. Um. He then he goes to the house. Then he see, sees sees Love's face in his room, playing with you know the a speller a speller machine. You know. He's like, I, 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 oh, can you identify with saying the machine's like, can you identify what identify what this is? And it's showing like a picture of a clown. He keeps on pressing. F type, keeps on typing the word in food. And he keeps on getting, getting wrong, but he keeps on getting angry. And Ken Frey's like, what kind of sick shit is this? And so it, it, it goes back to Kate Hodge, who, who her hands were nailed to the chair. Um, Lefe starts his chainsaw about to kill her. Then Ken Frey, Ken Frey, he starts shooting the place up. Uh, kills kills their mama, you know. And shoots up of the... the the dead body of their grandpa on the face, and also cut, uh, shoots um, Tinker's two two fingers off and his ear. He's like, yeah, you know, and, she, and so uh, Kate Hodge she escapes and tells her to uh, Kevin tells her to run. Um, Leatherface tries to run him over with caught with his, with his truck, but he gets under it and he gets into a five with with Vigo Moore and says like, what is wrong with you people? Why don't you leave us alone? And says we're we're hungry. You ever heard of pizza, you know? And then, and then, um, he hit, he hits he hits one of the gas cans. Um, he uh, Viggo Mortensen gets drenched in, and then Ken Foray uses the light, get, uses, toss, throws the the cigarette lighter, sets him on fire, and the truck explodes. So then the uh, Kidage is is being chased by leather face, uh. She trips on uh, one of the trip ropes and she gets dragged into the pond. But then, Kemp, and then sees the letter face and then Kemp Ray pushes him into the water and they get a fight. And the chainsaw, the, the chainsaw is still is, is still moving, you know, still going in, even in the water, um, even in the water. And then, suppose that um. That Leatherface killed Ken Frey, you know, pushing pushing his head towards the the chance the moving chainsaw still still moving, but it was really it just cuts away. You don't see the you don't see you don't, you don't see it though. Then Kate Hodges just gets a large rock, starts hitting Leatherface in the head numerous times, saying "Sorry, little guy." It was like she couldn't like she couldn't kill the armor deal before, but now she like smashes his head with a rock in like four times. So then it cuts to the, to, the, to the next morning, and then the truck pulls out. It was supposed to the, it was the truck from the gas station tenant, but Kemp Frey really, he, he's still alive, you know. But then he gets hit by Alfredo, who's still alive, and then Kate Hodges gets the shotgun and shoots him. And just, just dumps his body on the road and tells tells Kemp Frey, there's real kill all over Texas, and she just, he just got that right, and they both drive away, and little face... Watching for oh, just oh, uh, just peer, appear appears you know and and it appears and that's the end of the movie. Yeah, it was maybe I do, I like this I like this film okay. I mean I liked I liked Ken Foray. You know I um even though it was that part of that it is supposedly he died from the chainsaw to the head though but you don't see it though but. To me, I'm kind of glad that he lived, cause you know, cause I liked him, cause I liked him in the film, you know, a survival, a survivor list, you know. 
Viggo Morrison, she uh, he does oh he does okay. Kate Hodge does does fine. Um, yeah, I would say it's an okay film. Of course, it has a much more lower rating um, as a 4.9 IMDb, like 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it's not it's not it's on it's not uh, that long either. It's on for 81 minutes. Well. Including a few more minutes if it's, if it's on, you see the on rated because, um, has like a, has a, has a comment, has a commentary in the making of Leatherface documentary. Has some, has delete scenes, a trailer, and an alternate ending. Um, yeah. So I would say this is just an, this is just an okay film. But the next review, well, I get to the next review. I would still say this film is like is like five times as better as the next one, which I'll which I'll get to, and I'll get to that later on. So yeah, so that's Le Le Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part Three. So thanks for watching, and stay and, and stay tuned for the real shitty film, The Next Generation. So stay tuned. We're ready for that. Later.